Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be looking at a police competition for arrest and it will involve a lot of weapons. So this is very interesting to watch because a lot of reflex training is important. You know, for me, self-defense is also very important. The video, of course, will be in the description uh, below. So from what I've seen, they wear the kendo bogu or the protective gear. There is many format to this competition you have open hand you have long swords you have the knives and you can strike and grapple at the same time so it's very cool when it comes to reflex and dealing with really dangerous situations so let's begin so here you see both of them are using somewhat of a long sword like a wakizashi so here he thrusts in the torso and it's considered ippon. Here you can see one is holding a knife and the other is open-handed. Um, he strikes the head and thrusts the torso. So you can also strike as you've seen the open-handed athlete was striking. Here you can also strike where the protective gear protects the shoulders. Now this one is very interesting you can also throw both of them are carrying weapons and still he grappled does a kote gaishi let's see it again as he is coming closer grips the hand and the wrist and twists it and then gets on top so i'm sure many of you have seen this technique before this is ueshiba the grandson performing it this is the basic form so to say that this technique does not work and it's outdated is just simply false. Again, it's all about the methodology of the training and the stress you put in sparring. So you grab the wrist and the hand and then you somewhat give it back to them by twisting it inward and they fall down and you can go down with them and arrest them. Now, with all that we just watched. Let's reflect a little bit on the writings of Jigoro Kano here in page 96 of the book, Mind Over Muscle. So he says, training for small children, inflatable swords made of rubber or cloth rather than bamboo swords should be used right from the start to teach kata in which they learn to strike or thrust at each other and to fend off these blows. So here you can see that training to fend off blows and striking correctly with inflatable swords uh, to train kata. So you can see that his definition of kata is different than what we have today. It's not the static training that we do just to demonstrate a technique, but also there is live drilling in it. He continues to say, that is to say, I would like to incorporate some of the kata that were formerly taught in kendo into judo training in some form. Uh, he continues to say, uh, weapons, kendo are essential elements of judo, so should be included in judo in some form. It is necessary not only as kata, but also in competition. So, he says, in the future, I believe judo will incorporate some of the kata from the current kendo into ordinary training, but I believe the current kendo as it stands now is less than satisfactory. So, unfortunately, he was wrong, but you can see what his vision was for overall judo training. It wasn't just randori and winning competitions, but also fending off this type of attacks with the knife and with the sword, open hand, and also you holding a weapon as well. Um, this competition, as Kano would have wanted, it could have been a part of judo and it would have been absolutely amazing imagine if you have regular randori that we do today one day a week of kata which is also can be fun if you really appreciate technique and the intricacies of it and also once a week training like these policemen and women uh, with a lot of intensity thrusting and striking with weapons fending them off with weapons or open hand while wearing protective gear traditional protective gear like the bogu you see them wearing so it would have been very interesting unfortunately his vision did not materialize at least on the big scale i'm sure these policemen and women trained judo 
the way it should be taught, the way Kano would have wanted it. Sure, competition, judo is fun, and the police also have them. So it's that's not to say that either you train like the police or you train like the Olympics. That's that's definitely not the case. They still compete. They still have their own way of doing it. And uh, in my opinion, we should have their training also available to us. But unfortunately, that's not the case. So if you have anything to add, let me know down below. Consider supporting me on Patreon for exclusive content. Also, the videos will be in the description below. This was Shadi, and thank you for listening.